Give me some teaching. <laughs> Shut that thing up. <laughs> Hey everybody, how are you all doing? So today is Thursday, March 30th, and I'm about to head off to the Providence Zen Center this weekend for a big Buddha's birthday weekend. So on Saturday, we're going to have a Buddha's birthday ceremony. Later that morning, we're going to have an Inca ceremony where somebody's going to become a teacher. And in the afternoon on Saturday, we have two people receiving transmission and becoming Zen masters. Sunday will be a precept ceremony. So there's a lot going on and I've decided to um, record some footage of this trip, some of the ceremonies, the people at the Zen Center. So if you're interested in joining me, please come along. And also I have a special guest coming with me. So let's go inside and see who that is. Hey, Chick Chick. Huh, what's going on in here? <laughs> so we have Kendra, Miles kicking back. Um, we have Chick Chickory <laughs> joining the party here. We're going to be leaving pretty soon, so who are we going to take with us? Maybe Chickory? Uh, maybe not. Let's see who else we have. Hmm, there's Ella. Hi, Ella. She's not coming. All right, so here's our special guest. Hey. Hey, Miles. Yeah. Um, is your backpack ready? This guy's uh, gonna be here in three yeah. minutes. Mm -hmm. Grab it. Let's go. <laughs> Got my bag ready. A little pre-green action. <laughs> hey, Chico, you're not you're not coming with us. You're staying here, okay? Mom, look at this. Alright, let's go, bye. Hello. Yes. Just two. Just two? Yeah. Okay, that's loading up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you're going to Alaska Airlines SFO. Going to Boston. Oh, Boston. Yeah, oh, Boston. okay. All right, so we're making a pit stop actually to get not gas but hydrogen. Our Lyft driver drives a car that runs in hydrogen. Maybe you can tell us about it. So right here, see the so, pump? Yeah, there's okay. the pump. So very, right very different from what I'm used to. Yeah. Okay. Put oh, this wow. right here. Yeah. Okay. This one, this one is the cut, like you know, you yeah, put in. Reader. Yeah. Yeah. Pump, pump ready. ready. See, bring this up. Okay. Just pull it in. See, this one will lock itself. See, hear that? Yeah. Lock. And then we press, we got different type, we'll be using what? this one. With hydrogen, how, how does it go again? The hydrogen will go through the, the fuel cell the fuel underneath cell. the car, yep. and then it will get separated, the, the electron will separate it and okay. generate electricity. <laughs> okay? okay, and then we'll move the wheel, right? That's how you get your power. So it's better than gas then, I mean, right? Or I mean, It's cleaner than gas. It's cleaner. Yeah. So you're doing it more for environmental reasons, that you're not really saving that much money. Would you say? You pay more. You pay more. They charge more. They make more money. Okay, that was very interesting. So we're going to hit back on the road and hopefully get to the airport soon. <laughs>
have everything, huh? No lost and found. Well, let's get your backpack. Come okay. On. Nice having you, Jason. Thank have you so much. Time. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Yeah, a little back. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Well, that was a very interesting trip. That, that guy. Yeah. It was what? Almost a 45 minute drive, 50 minute drive. Like an this, hour. this driver talked the whole time. Now he was very nice. I got a little bit tired. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna, I guess, get through security here and uh, hopefully we'll get through it pretty quickly. Let's do it. Look for a place to hang out. Here's one. Right there. The only thing is, it's 7.15. Yeah. We got another three hours. <laughs> We're here early. I like to get here early just to kind of take care of some business and relax. Uh, so uh, maybe we'll get a little bite, a little yeah. snack. All right, Miles, cheers. Okay, we're, we're done with our snacks and it really feels late right now. Uh, we have another hour before we board the plane. So I think we're gonna walk around and look at things. <laughs> oh, just relax. <laughs> yeah, this is not too bad. <laughs> All right, it's about time to board the plane. You ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep. Okay, well, it's 10.30 p.m. We're on the plane. Um, hopefully, we're gonna sleep on this red eye. Red eye means we're flying overnight to Boston. I think it's a little bit over six hours. So, <laughs> hopefully we'll sleep. If not, that's okay because we'll land in Boston. Oh, and we have a special guest picking us up. I'll show you that later. We'll go to the Providence Zen Center. If we're tired, we can sleep there because there's not much happening on Friday. Saturday is when everything begins. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Well, uh, we just landed. How'd you sleep? <laughs> Terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, the person I said who's gonna be here is here. So we'll find out who that is pretty soon. Um, we're gonna just get to the gate and then hopefully get out and get in a car.
Okay, so we're at the rental car place. You saw Zen Master Bong Song. We also call him Jeff. Uh, he went to go get the car, and Miles and I are actually here waiting for somebody else who's coming, who's from uh, the Empty Gate Zen Center in Berkeley. So we're waiting for him, and then hopefully Jeff will pull up the car just in time. We're all gonna get in the car and head to the Providence Zen Center, so stay tuned. Marshall White, what do you have to say for us? <laughs> Good morning. I'm so glad. <laughs> Here's Miles. Jeff is waiting for us. Let's go. Isn't it? Yeah. All right, everyone. We made it to the Providence Zen Center. Miles, how was the ride? Um, could have been better. <laughs> uh, he got a little car sick. I think a lot of it had to do with we didn't have like a real dinner, even though he told me he ate dinner, uh, and not getting much sleep. And then it was a long drive. Uh, but you know, he's, we're doing the best we can. So we're gonna go in and settle in. What's happening? You're on. You're on oh, camera. Oh, really? watch, watch what you say. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna watch what I say. He's a good monk. Hey, 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 hey. hey good to see you. Seen you. Welcome. Where's the makeup? Okay, so Miles and I are doing much better. Um, we both had showers. He's feeling much better now, which is good. Um, <laughs> uh, I had a good power nap. Didn't get much sleep on that red eye flight, but we had a few naps. Uh, anyways, I wanted to share something with you that I think is very interesting. Uh, some of you know I teach in the Quantum School of Zen, and the founding teacher is Zen Master Sung Song. So there's kind of a memorial room that I want to show you. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the memorial room. So Zen Master Sung Song uh, came to the Providence Zen Center in 1972. They actually lived in the city of Providence, um, had a small center there in the 1979, moved out here to Cumberland, Rhode Island, to 50 acres of land. And uh, this is his room. So that's Zen Master Sung Song there. That was him as a young monk. There's a lot of his items here, bowls, monk bowls, a lot of Zen sticks, bells, smoke talks. Looks like giving a formal Dharma talk. Many pictures here. Uh, there used to be a door right here. Looks like it's been turned into a wall. And that would go into his bedroom. And in this closet, a lot of books. Looks like they're Korean and Chinese. Some of his old robes. It's very interesting. So I believe Miles and I are gonna go out and get a bite to eat and uh, we'll catch up with you later.
birthday ceremony. We will begin by bathing the baby Buddha. Children only, please. Children will come up and one by one dip the ladle in water and pour over the baby Buddha's head three times, three fours. <laughs> endurance to not give up patience so you got you don't think there's no drain pipe you know who knows clean 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 so that's what we have to do with our lives with our situation just pay attention what 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 needs to be attended to what's going on here and when we do that then we notice people we notice how to support animals people trees grass and as a you know the um We've been reading the Morning Bell chant translation once a week. And, you know, one of the lines is, is like, um, the blue mountain of many ridges is the Buddha's home. The vast ocean of, of many waves is a palace of stillness. And so can we get to that point where there's no agitation, there's no hindrance, it's just this. The rain on the roof. Happy birthday, Buddha. How is that possible? What even is the Buddha? Siddhartha or Sid? <laughs> Shakyamuni? Is that Buddha? Dried shit on a stick? Three pounds of flax? Grass shoes? Is that Buddha? Somebody asked that Master Matsu, what is Buddha? He said, mine is Buddha. Later, when he was asked the same question, Matsu replied, no mind, no Buddha. <coughs> so which one is it? Zen Master Umun once said, on the Buddha's birthday, as he sprang from the side of his mother, I hit him once and killed him and fed him to a hungry dog. The whole world was at peace. How is that possible? Our original nature does not have name, does not have form, does not have birth, does not have Buddha. So how can we acknowledge the birth of Buddha in this very moment? Ha! Outside it is raining, inside many bright. Hello. So I hear you work with dying people. So what is death? 
you are already dead. <laughs> How so? Not enough? Dog runs after the ball. So I just met you. I never even heard of you before. I've been around a long time and I know a lot of people. How come I never heard of you? You already understand. No, I don't. Please teach me. My name is Marshall White. It is so nice to meet you. <laughs> Marshall White, original name, O.G. Buddhist name, is authorized as a Gino Pope's name, and has received Inca on April 1st, 2023. One song, Zen Master, one song. Except it's April Fool's Day. Day follows night, night follows day. No day, no night. Day is only day, night is only night. Which one of these statements do you like? Outside the window, the sunshine is coming through the clouds and illuminating many bright faces. Take DeSansonim's words to the man in the bed. What is the purpose of your life? Turn them around and ask yourself, what is the purpose of my life right now? Okay, so that was the Inca ceremony. We have a new teacher in our school, Marshall White Judo Popesanin. Uh, right now is lunch, so I'm going to see what's going on down there. Did they just have a lunch? Whereas others. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, well, we just had lunch, and now we're waiting for... Cake. So, uh, yeah, cake. In fact, that reminds me of a konga. Zen Master Unmun. Somebody asked Zen Master Unmun, what is speech that goes beyond the Buddhas and the patriarchs? Unmun replied, cake. <laughs> Happy birthday to Zen Master Bong Heng. Yes, sir. Uh, please give me some teaching. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> I already lost it. <laughs> give me some teaching. <laughs> Shut that thing up. <laughs> please, Zen Master, give me some teaching. <laughs> Just that. <laughs> But <laughs> I wrote for my friend Zen Master and then I realized I don't know your Zen Master's name now. So before you get your Zen Master's name, what is your Zen Master's name right now? <laughs> you already understand. No, I don't. I'm Jose Yorumano. <laughs> <laughs> the book! That a student goes to the Sixth Patriarch ask a question. The sixth patriarch then says, you're a fool. Listen to my poem. So what's your transmission poem? <laughs> you already understand. It doesn't rhyme. You're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, so Jose just called somebody a fool. I guess it's April Fool's Day. So here you and I are sitting. Which one's the fool? You already understand. I'm asking you. My name's Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your foolish answer. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, you got a book? Yeah. It's for you. Oh. So De Sansini wrote a book. Yes. Called the Compass of Zen. Yes. In the back of the Compass of Zen are ten gates. Okay, we all know those gates. Mm. We all have read those gates. <laughs> <laughs> I have ten gates for you in here. I want you to give me one true answer for all ten. You already understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Answer up here. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'll take that down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horse hair whisk, so this is a blonde horse, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so turn around, turn around, you bow, and you flip it uh, one time on each side, three times. <laughs> At a monk's burial, said Master, George said, there's only one dead man and so many people sending him up. He then added, so many dead people <laughs> sending up one living man to die is also a great crime. <clears throat> the two lanes of life and death, are they the same? Are they different? So Master Joe, you said, a person of the way asked about life and death. What is there to say about life and death? No life, no death. What can you say? Ha! Happy April Fool's Day! <laughs> The 10,000 dharmas return to the one. Many of us have heard this. It's in Sennacher Sinsad's poems and the whole world is a single flower. But did you know that the one also gives rise to the 10,000 dharmas? In truth, there are no 10,000 dharmas. And in truth, there is no one. The 10,000 dharmas are only the 10,000 dharmas present in each moment in name and form. The one is only the one present in each moment before name and form. Which of these statements do you prefer? The 10,000 dharmas and the one are present in this moment in your lovely faces. What is the speech that goes beyond Buddhas and patriarchs? Let's eat cake! Cake! cake. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on the road that goes up to the monastery. You can see that behind me. Uh, we just finished the transmission ceremony. So it was a very big day with the Buddha's birthday ceremony, the Inca ceremony, and then the uh, transmission ceremony. 
Uh, so I hope you enjoyed all of that. Miles and I are pretty tired right now. Uh, that's a lot to take in in one day. Uh, we are staying the night here and um, we may join. There's another ceremony tomorrow. It's the precept ceremony. So some people will be taking five precepts and I believe some people will be taking 10 precepts. I'm not sure if uh, Miles and I will be at that. I guess you'll find out at the end of this video. Uh, right now our plan is to may possibly leave early. We got a return and rental car for uh, Zen Master Bong Song. And then uh, we're gonna stay at a place because we have an early flight on Monday. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but right now uh, some people are gonna take us out to dinner and we're gonna uh, enjoy and hang out with them. And I will check in with you tomorrow. All right, everybody, it is Sunday morning. So uh, we went to dinner last night. We didn't make it to the ceremony this morning. Miles slept in until about <laughs> 10 30 a.m. or maybe even a little bit later than that. So uh, we decided to uh, leave early. So basically we're heading back to Boston. Uh, we have to return this car that Jeff rented and then we're staying close to the airport because we got to leave very early tomorrow. So um, I believe we're going to say goodbye here. There's not going to be much to see. I have, I think, over three hours of footage to go through and make a 20 to 30 minute video. So it's going to take a long time. I'm not sure um, what I'm going to put into the video. Obviously, you're going to find out that as you're actually hearing my voice, you already know. So uh, I think that's it for me. And uh, Miles, you want to say goodbye? See ya. Yeah, we'll see you all very soon.